know if anybody else can see what I'm seeing here, but uh, I do believe that is fuel leaking out of this fella's tank. And as you may notice, there's a roll of electrical tape down there. When I walked up, he was trying to put tape on it to hold it. And I saw underneath the truck quite a stream of fuel coming out of there. I don't know what on earth he hit, but that is pretty serious fuel leak here. Uh, here's a closer look. We've yeah. got a lot of fuel coming out of there, as you can see. And we're trying to put electrical tape on it. <laughs> Now we're catching the fuel with a cup, which by the way, is probably going to uh, fall apart on him after a minute or two, but uh, whatever. And we're putting it in a gallon jug. Woo -hoo. It's really gonna save. Ran out of hours last night. I had to park outside of the Walmart distribution center. In the morning, I do exercises outside of my truck. So I get out and doing a circle around the truck and and look man the truck that was parked behind me last night he left a present he left a nice little present look at it he left a bag of fudge you guys a bag of crap i'm really tired of this company i'm working with i ain't making no money i don't know what to tell you what you where are you where are you at well, I'm not really going to say, but I'm getting really tired of being a big-time owner-operator, but getting small-time wages at 70% of the load. Why are you getting 70% of the load when you're an owner-operator? Well, I don't know. It's just the easiest thing I can get. I don't know. Just all these people out here don't treat us right. I've been telling you about TRC Freight forever, okay? You can make up to 90%. You could sit there and choose your loads and get full transparency with the with the rate cons and everything like that. Plus, they're offering medical benefits. What, how come? How come I've never seen this before? I've been telling you about it forever on this channel. Well, I've been skipping through that part because I like to see old Swifty Swift. If, if you're not happy where you're at, what you need to go do is check out trcandme.com. You know, see what they have to offer and get up out of uh, that situation you're at right now. You got an excellent point there, driver. So you say TR TRC, the right carrier, trcandme.com. Well, I guess I guess uh, you got an excellent point. Maybe I'll go check out their website. But how about we watch some bonehead truckers first? That sounds like an excellent idea. Let's go watch some bonehead truckers and yeah, then go to TRC. That's right, go to trcandme.com. Okay, welcome to this week's edition of the Bonehead Truckers Weekend Edition. This is a place we make fun of the dumb stuff we see out here on the road. So if you like this kind of garbage, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Okay, just hit it. Don't, don't be so stingy. And it's free. It's free. Like this fella taking the turn, going around that corner way too fast. See, that's dumb. That's dumb. All right, I mean, for crying out loud, slow it down there, big time truck driver, slow it down. Now you see this guy going back after blocking the fuel island. He got himself a soda water and a cheeseburger, and probably a candy bar, bag of potato chips, some chewing gum, and probably some, I don't want no lot leisure stickers, okay? That's probably what's going on. Now this guy's thinking he's gonna go do a Yui on a two lane highway. Imagine that, old fella wearing flip flops. Imagine that, flip flops. Who would have ever thunk it? Who would have, yeah, call a tow truck. Who would have ever thunk it? Now, this is a terrible situation right here. I'm not sure if he's a bonehead trucker, but that's a truck on fire. Let's just say that. That's a truck on fire. I'm just letting you know. 
Now this is, this takes a cake. This guy's going mountain climbing, look like it's beautiful. Whoever lives up here got him a, a really good looking spread up here, but you see, this old fella uh, just ain't supposed to be up there. You gotta, they don't send tow trucks over to get people out, they send tractors. John Deere tractors to get people unstuck, okay? That's how, that's how country that is. <laughs> Uh, this guy's probably watching bonehead truckers on, on his phone while going down the road. Can't keep it in his lane, don't you know? See that sign saying no trucks? No trucks? You see that sign? I saw it. Now, this fella went down there anyway, decides he wants to do a U-turn. Well, you see that sign that says no U-turn? And that was meant for cars. Golly. Shame on the mess. Would you look at this stupidity? The stupidity going on. Alright, you ain't supposed to be going down that way. Can't read no signs. Listen, you don't even have to understand English. That, that, that's, it just said, there's a picture. This guy is sitting there backing in. You know, hits this guy's hood right here. I don't know why they ain't getting out and helping him. I don't know. But here's another issue. Anybody need any money? I, I'm I, I got a cruise going on like that currently like as you're listening to this right now I'm on a cruise. Can you guys send me some money? All right, and whatever else maybe a cut. I need a lighter too I, I, I'm not gonna like I may smoke a cigar down there in the Caribbean Okay, all right. I, I'm just saying I'm <laughs> Clean up your dash or something. I don't know. I don't know. That's just me. Uh, this guy looks like he got hit. He's on the side of the road and he got hit. See, here's the deal. When you see someone on the side of the road, you get over a slow way down. Oh, well, that driver didn't do neither. Now look at him. Hopefully everyone's all right because that's scary. Speaking of truck fires, you got J.B. Hunt over here on fire. Or at least that's a J.B. Hunt trailer. Who knows who, what truck that used to be. <laughs> that truck's gone now. I'm, I'm just saying. Now I'm trying to figure this out, how Stevens Transport does this. I, listen, I don't know. Anybody tell me how this goes on? Look at this. How? 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 Can, can somebody tell me in the comments, do it right now. How? How does this happen? How? Huh? I says how. Now this is a Walmart right here. This guy's got a basket full of trash. Now, they put trash cans all along the front of these stores, and then they have a place where you take your, your, your basket and go put it up. Well, you know, most Walmarts don't allow trucks to park in their parking lots, okay? And usually it's for a reason, and this is a good reason right here. He just leaves it, leaves it right there. You too daggum lazy to go get, put the, trash in the trash can and put the cart where it's supposed to be and now they're probably going to put up a sign that says no truck parking guys if you want to support the channel you can buy a shirt a sticker and whoever else you whatever else you want to buy down there you see all the stuff down there and if you got you got videos clips you want to send to see on bonehead truckers send them to contact at bonehead truckers Okay, contact at boneheadtruckers.com or join our Facebook group. Say no to Bonehead Truckers. Check out all the links below. Save you some money on fuel discounts and all that kind of good stuff. Guys, we'll see you this week for Bonehead Truckers Weekend Edition, Four Wheeler Friday. And whoever, you never know what we're going to do this week.